So in order to get G-Sync to work with your FreeSync monitor, the first thing you need is obviously a FreeSync monitor. And the second thing you need is a GTX graphics card that's 10 series or newer, as it only works this way. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that FreeSync is actually enabled on our monitor. Now we can enable this within the software of our monitor, and this is going to be different for every single one, so I recommend Googling this if you don't know how to do it already. So once we've done this, the second thing we need to do is right click anywhere on our desktop, and you want to go ahead and click on NVIDIA Control Panel. Now once NVIDIA Control Panel is opened up, we need to go ahead and click on Change Resolution, just on Display. And here you, may, you need to make sure that you're selected on your highest resolution under the PC tab and you want to make sure you're on the correct refresh rate. Now I'm currently using 144Hz refresh rate which is why I mentioned this because you want to make sure you're taking advantage of this feature. And once you've done this for all of your displays you want to go ahead and click on apply at the bottom. So now we are running on the correct resolution and refresh rate. The second thing we need to do is actually enable G-Sync. To do this you want to go ahead and click on the setup G-Sync. Now here you want to make sure this box is ticked at the top and then you want to decide whether you want it to work in full screen mode or windowed and full screen mode. Once you've done this you want to go ahead and click on enable the settings for the selected display monitor and you want to do this again for every single display you've got. And once again you want to click on apply at the bottom. So now we're in our game of choice we need to go ahead and set up our correct FPS settings and to do this we need to go into our graphic settings and we need to make sure that VSync is not turned on and we want our frame rate to be capped at our monitor's refresh rate or we want to set it to unlimited to get maximum performance. Now the reason why I say do not turn VSync on is because G-Sync and FreeSync are going to take care of this in the background anyway. And if I look at my FPS in the top left hand corner, I'm running about 500 FPS and I'm not getting any screen tearing whatsoever because G-Sync is doing this in the background. And that is all you need to do to enable G-Sync on your FreeSync monitor. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any comments just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and have a good day.